Hello, everyone. My name is Diane Duda, and I am president of the Board of Trustees of the Marin Art and Garden Center. It is my pleasure to welcome you and thank you for joining us in our webinar format. This is a special day. On August 3rd, 1945, the Marin Art and Garden Center officially opened its gates. Today, 75 years later, we have gathered you, our most loyal and generous supporters, together to join with us in celebrating our 75th anniversary. As befits a 75th anniversary event, we will share with you a brief look at our history, our present, and our future. So let's begin. I'd like you to take a moment and imagine it is August 3rd, 1945. America has just celebrated victory in Europe, and in less than two weeks, Japan will surrender, bringing an end to four long years of war. The troops are coming home. Families are reuniting. Rationing is ending and people are looking to a new and brighter future. It is a time to gather, to celebrate, and to build. At this moment, the Marin Art and Garden Center is poised to fill a community longing for a beautiful place to celebrate life and build that new future. Young couples want a place to bring their children, and people of all ages would like to choice to enjoy theater, art, fairs, and fun. The vision of the center's founder, Caroline Livermore, has set the stage for what will become a treasure in the heart of Marin. How did she do this? And why did she do this? Caroline's conservation principles guided her to form a group to preserve these 11 acres upon which we are located. She believed that some things, once gone, cannot be retrieved. This land was to be sold for development and Caroline wanted to preserve it. So in 1941, she gathered community leaders, including Ken Bechtel, who would for the next four years, besides working with the Art and Garden Center, oversee the building of warships in Sausalito. And Jose Moya del Pino, a Spanish artist, who before the Spanish War stranded him in America, had been court painter to the King of Spain. She included artists, architects, environmentalists, garden professionals, and garden enthusiasts, as well as leaders in education. This group considered many options for our historic site. The negotiations that began in June of 1941 continued during the war years, culminating in the opening of the center on this day in 1945. Imagine, 75 years ago today, we opened our gates and offered the residents of Marin and beyond a place to gather together to enjoy visual arts, dance, music, theater, gardening, and environmental programs. They came here for weddings, memorials, special events and education. And in 1947, they came for the Marin County Fair, known back then as the Marin Art and Garden Fair. They came to be together and to celebrate. For 75 years, hundreds of thousands of visitors of all ages have passed through the center's gates. Thousands of volunteers contributed to creating the Marin Art and Garden Center's programs and events. And when those volunteers needed activities for their young children while they were engaged in supporting the center, a program to provide a play-based learning environment for the children of our volunteers was created. That program became today's Pixie Park. And as we kept evolving, the Ross Valley Players, the longest continually performing community theater group west of the Rockies, enchanted its audiences in a barn that was built in the 1870s. The Ross Historical Society joined with Jose Moya del Pino Library, which resides in our historic Octagon House, and presented 
lectures and events celebrating the history of our area. The historic Northgate Group, contributor of so much of the center's economic support, provided opportunities for young and old to participate in the center's activities. For over 60 years, these devoted volunteers provided hundreds of thousands of dollars through presentations of teas, fashion shows, fundraiser, and the staffing of Laurel House Antique Shop. The Marin Garden Club, the Marin Garden Society, and later the Marin Master Gardeners created gardening classes and opportunities for local residents to come together to celebrate the beauty and satisfaction that gardening brings us all. Today, some of the original groups have moved on or disbanded, but their legacy is felt when we stroll through the gardens. We recognize their contribution and we are grateful. We are poised and ready to go forward into the next 75 years. While guided by the vision of our founders, as well as our original mission and values, we are creating new programs, new initiatives, and a new look that is designed for the 21st century.